Nicole Scott here at Mobile Geeks, and it is day two of my challenge of leaving my Ultrabook and moving on to the Acer Iconia W510. So it's second day. I've cheated. I've already cheated. I went back to my Ultrabook. I couldn't, I couldn't do it. I couldn't move over. Um, I thought I had everything set. The one thing that I have not been able to find is a good photo editing um, app for Windows 8. I would have liked a Metro app because I know it's a little bit lighter. Um, I've been resisting putting Photoshop on here because I know Photoshop is quite a heavy program. I mean, even on my uh, Asus ZenBook UX31, um, Photoshop's, well, and all, all the Adobe Creative Suite actually, I get, and CS6, uh, the Premiere editing, uh, the graphics interface is accelerated through um, NVIDIA or CUDA, right? So if you have an NVIDIA system, then it's going to work so much better. My Ultrabook doesn't have that, but my Ultrabook has a Core i5 processor, right? This is a dual core Clover Trail. So I just know that if I install this heavy program on here, it's going to be quite slow and a little bit heavy. So I kind of wanted to find something that was in between that I could maybe kind of like make, you know, decent enough thumbnails. Like all I'm really looking for is to take the photo, resize it, and then put some text on it. Um, I'll prepare, like you know how we make those thumbnails sometimes where like there's like cutouts of us on the thumbnail. Well, so I can, you know, I can do all those PNGs in advance and then just have an entire folder full of them. So I mean like, I'm gonna have another system anyway. So it's not as if I need to rely on this 100% of the time. But the reality is that I couldn't make it happen. I kinda, I wanted to, I was meeting some friends and how much longer was I gonna take to try to, you know, make a thumbnail for this video. So I, I went over and I, I know, I, I know I shouldn't have, but so today installing Photoshop on here, um, I have done a video editing video on here. That was my biggest concern, actually. I thought that it would be easy enough to get a photo editing app because there's, you know, there's 30 of them in there. I thought one of them would do, but so far they all suck. So if you're a developer, tons of room for improvement there. Just go wild with photo editing abilities. I mean, it's a simple thing, right? So I mean, it can't be that hard. Somebody should get on it. Just saying, just saying. So Nicole Scott from Mobile Geeks, day two of my W510 challenge. So I hope that tomorrow I will have better news to report and that I've installed Photoshop and I've successfully left my Ultrabook and I'm on here. Um, We'll see. I'm still a little skeptical. I mean, it's going to be a good, like, once I get it down, I'm definitely going to be able to have, like, the ultimate coffee shop machine for productivity or the ultimate two or three day business trip device or, you know, like, so, like, I'm, I'm a productive person. I like to get things done, right? If you just like to play on Facebook and do email, so done. You don't even need to watch any more of this. You can 100% move over onto this. Just, just do it. Forget about it. It's easy. You have a tablet and you have a keyboard. And if you're just playing on Facebook, then who the hell cares, right? But if you actually need to get work done, then we'll keep watching the series. And I'm going to try to push the envelope on the amount of, you know, programs and apps and other things that this, you know, Z2760 dual core processor, 1.5 gigahertz, can handle. Um, I'm definitely going to be doing a video on productivity tips, on how to get the system working optimally, because this is just like a netbook. This is the modern day netbook, right? And the performance issues on netbooks are things that people complained about for the entire existence of netbooks, right? But if you tweaked your system and you were smart about what apps you use, or programs, apps, stupid Apple and their apps, right? And your programs that you used, and you were smart about the way that you used processing power of the machine, then you could totally get it done, but you just needed to be conscious of it. So I'll have a productivity video coming up, but I just want to let you know, I cheated, I'm sorry. Don't hate me. Nicole Scott from Mobile Geeks. Yeah.